In this video, we're going to talk about earthquake hazard maps. The learning competency for this video is to interpret different earthquake maps. The specific learning objective is to use the different earthquake hazard maps and integrate this information into the class disaster preparedness plan. This map shows the earthquake triggered landslide susceptibility downloaded from the PVOX website. This one shows the active and potentially active volcanoes in the Philippines. So here you will see colors and some legends. This can be downloaded from the PVOX website. You just have to click the red word here. It says link and this will pop out. Then you can select the hazard map that you like. It could be earthquake, volcano, and other maps. So under the earthquake, you can select just the map that you need. So it could be earthquake induced landslide, ground rupture, ground shaking, liquefaction, and tsunami. And remember, these are the hazards that an earthquake may bring. You can also choose here the region, the province, and the city. Now there is an option for the national map. Then you just have to click submit, then you get your map. Okay? Anyway, if you read news articles about earthquakes or you watch, you will see or hear the word magnitude just like this one. So this is from CNN Philippines where a 6.3 earthquake hit Calatagan, Batangas exactly on Christmas Day last year as well as this one in Davao last December 16, 2020. Okay? So another term that you will see or might notice is the word intensity. Now, what is a magnitude? What does intensity mean? I think we should have that conversation. So a magnitude of an earthquake refers to the amount of energy released. So it is measured by the amount of ground displacement based on the seismograph. Okay? And this is represented by Arabic numbers. For example, 4.8, 9.2, and 6.3. Intensity, on the other hand, is the strength of an earthquake perceived and felt by people. So again, magnitude is based on the seismograph. This one, it's the strength perceived by people. Okay? So it is a numerical rating based on relative effects to people, objects, and environment, as well as the structures in the surroundings. So you have to remember that intensity is generally higher than the epicenter. And this is represented by Roman numerals. This one shows PVOX Earthquake Intensity Scale or the PEIS. So as you can see, you have different colors from white to red. This is from weakest to strongest. And the next column is the strength of shaking. And these are the descriptions. So you may want to pause this video and read this first. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Now, people and properties are affected by earthquake due to any or a combination of the following. First, unsafe location. Second, poor construction. People don't know or believe that they are affected. Next, people don't know how they can be affected. People also don't know what to do. And lastly, lack of timely and proper response. So scientists have for so long studied earthquake occurrences and the hazards associated with them by looking at impacts from major earthquakes. So based on studies given a specific earthquake scenario or magnitude, Hazard maps are generated, okay? They show areas which are likely to be affected by a certain hazard and the degree of expected impact. As we learned in the earlier video, for earthquakes, there are at least five earthquake-related hazards that one needs to consider. First is the ground rapture, ground shaking, liquefaction, earthquake-induced landslides, and tsunami. So that is why there are maps that show different hazards that may affect a certain area. So for earthquakes, a ground-shaking hazard map shows the distribution of earthquake-shaking levels 
that have certain probability of occurring. So later I will show you this one. Okay? So PVOX actually have an application called the Fault Finder. It has an ability to do proximity searches to active faults. So you may download this from Google Play. So after this video, you may try to download it and look for the nearest active fault in your area. So this app would be useful for land use planning, risk assessment, disaster risk reduction plan, and awareness. So if you are near an active fault, you have to be aware and watch the next video about the precautionary measures for earthquakes. Okay, so this based on the map title shows the distribution of active faults in NCR. So the map title shows you what the map is all about. So the small box here in the left side, upper left, shows the details of what each symbols mean. So it contains the legends. So you have the solid line, trace line, and a dot for the city or municipality. Okay, so you also have to remember the scale below. So this helps determine distances. Since I live in Makati, I'll go to PVOX website, this one. Then check all the things that I need. I need this five, earthquake induced landslide, ground rupture, ground shaking, liquefaction, and tsunami. So I have here NCR, NCR Fort District, then City of Makati. Then I will click Submit. So once I click it, this will show in the bottom. Then to download the image, just click it. It will automatically be downloaded. Okay. So this one shows the preliminary earthquake-induced landslide hazard map of Makati City. Okay. So please read the title and the legends and the description below. In the okay. And this one shows the ground rupture hazard map of Makati City. So this two show the ground shaking hazard map of Makati City. The one in the right shows if there is a magnitude 6.5 earthquake along the West Valley Fault. The one in the left shows the risk analysis if there is a magnitude 7.2 earthquake. So as you can see in Makati, there's no significant change in the yellow area. But this yellow area actually refers to intensity low 8. However, in the nearby cities, there is definitely change in color. So it was from yellow to a more distinct orange, which is equal to intensity high 8 going to intensity low 9. This one shows the liquefaction hazard. So in Makati, it's clear. So no color means it's not susceptible to liquefaction. However, in nearby cities, there are moderate, the violet one, to high, the red one, possibilities. Okay? And this one shows the tsunami hazard map. So if you notice, it's very clear. However, in the left side, you have a tsunami inundation area. So those are the red ones. So if you're going to zoom it, it runs from Taft Avenue to Paco, Manila. Okay, so I find it weird. So I checked what the cost is. So I found out that this area is near Manila Bay. You can see Makati here and this is the Manila Bay. Okay, so these maps were generated to provide the most accurate and detailed information possible to assist engineers in designing buildings bridges, highways, and utilities that will withstand shaking from earthquakes in an area. These maps are used by local governments to help establish zoning, construction requirements necessary to preserve public safety and for purposes of general planning for disaster risk reduction and mitigation. To so go to PVOX website and look for your place. No ma'am! No ma'am. 제 영상 많이 찾아봐주세요. 좋아요랑 